this fall fatigue. I'm starting to call it that. I'm noticing it when the people that I'm working with, that there's a little bit of fatigue that's happening. And I just wanna encourage you to notice it and to really understand why you are feeling a little bit of fatigue. So I just wanna affirm you, you're not the only one. <laughs> if you're feeling a little tired, you are not alone in this. I am noticing it with everyone I'm working with and part of me wonders if it's just coming off of summer and enjoying a little bit of the ease and the relax of summer and getting some vacation time. Maybe it's the pressure you're starting to feel at work or going back into the home or getting the kids ready for school or whatever it is. There's a little bit of this fall fatigue that I'm noticing and I'm just saying, let's get out ahead of this. Let yourself slow down a little bit and understand why. Understand if it has to do with mental fatigue, physical fatigue, emotional fatigue, what's going on in your life? And where is it that you can give yourself a little bit of attention? Um, I'm noticing that my traveling is picking up. My kids are coming in and out of, the, out of the home. I am moving into more things in my place of work. There's a little bit of fatigue where I feel like I just wanna go lie down for a little bit. <laughs> it's okay. Take that 15 minute breather. You may not have time to go take a week off or take a me retreat. You know I love me retreats. I don't have a time for that as much as I'd like to as well. But we do have opportunities to do something daily. So maybe if it's 15 minutes to give yourself a breather, maybe it's up to an hour, pay attention to what you can do daily and then pay attention to what you can do weekly. These are two big areas that you can start in on a consistent basis to kind of refuel yourself. For me on a daily basis, it's sometimes just working out, enjoying a podcast while I'm doing it. Sometimes it's talking with a friend and just reconnecting. Sometimes it's just quiet time journaling or doing art. Sometimes it's just walking out in nature. Sometimes it's listening to a song, but being aware of what you need on that daily basis. And sometimes it's as simple as, I don't think I've drunk enough water today. <laughs> what we need daily is critical. And then what we need weekly gets us a little bit more out of our headspace and allows us to replenish and refuel. Again, it might be going with on a hike with a friend. It might be joining them for coffee. It might be something you need solo time with. Being really intentional of whether you need me time, alone time, or whether you need friend time. And what kind of friend do you need in that space? These are two real simple ways that if you become a little bit more mindful of it on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, it will begin to refuel you so that you're not moving into that fall fatigue and just pushing through every day. All right, hope that helps. And as usual, I am cheering you on.